Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, it's good to see you guys back here on the channel. Before we get into today's video, my VHS collection, I'm gonna ask you guys, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that little bell as well to get notified every time I post a new video. If you like movie reviews, movie collecting, vinyl, Funko Pops, all that sort of stuff, uh, you may want to consider subscribing to the channel. Let's jump into today's video. Uh, my VHS collection, I have a pile of stuff here beside me just off camera. A couple of people asked me about this a while ago and uh, probably like a lot of you collectors as well. I started with VHS when I was a kid and then moved into DVD when that came along and obviously moved into Blu-ray and 4K uh, now and there's some Laserdisc in there in between as well. But um, I kind of, you know, when DVD hit, I kind of got rid of all the VHS collection and I was left with a couple of bits um, that I never got rid of that I just kept. So I thought I would show you guys because I have some cool stuff here. So we'll start it off with something cool. The first one I want to show you guys here, apologies for the glare, it's really sunny here uh, this evening as I'm filming this video, but first one up is a copy of Airwolf. Um, I loved Airwolf when I was a kid, so this is Airwolf the movie, so I, I'm pretty sure they kind of combined um, like the pilot episode and episode two, say from season one of Airwolf to kind of make Airwolf the movie, which was released kind of internationally as a movie to kind of sort of segue into the TV show. But then um, this is really cool. You might be able to see there's like some stickers and stuff here, uh, CIC video here on the side spine. There's some rips there. It's all kind of wrecked. This, um, I bought this from the video shop that was across the road from my house years ago when I was a kid as it was closing down. So um, let me open up and uh, I'll show you guys. Here's the tape. You may be able to kind of see there is like a rewind after use five lamps video sticker on the tape there, really cool. I haven't played this in years, so I don't know if it still plays, but um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, that was the first number show you guys, Airwolf the movie. Um, next one, this was a really cool uh, piece in the collection, the Star Wars trilogy. This is from around 2000, I believe, the copyright on this. Um, so this was the black uh, VHS collection and the other side is the white kind of um, side. So then that has a slip that comes off. And we get some cool artwork here on either sides. And then the three tapes are here. So let's pull out the first one, um, A New Hope, episode four. And uh, the tapes kind of look like like that have the stickers there these are pretty like brand new i think i bought these and maybe played them once and then kind of you know um eventually made the the switch to um to dvd uh with star wars so um that's pretty cool and i just i just don't want to get rid of it out of the collection it's a nice cool kind of piece to have the star wars trilogy and um, a couple of music ones up next i think i showed this before on a video i done with heat from serial at midnight this is u2 zoo tv live from sydney and uh, big fan of u2 um I would have got this years ago, like for Christmas or something. There's the tape when I was younger. And another follow-up to that. Um, I do have the DVD of Zoo TV, but I kept the video. I just thought it was cool to kind of keep. Um, YouTube Pop Mart live from Mexico City. Um, it might be kind of hard to see in the video here, but it has this really kind of a metallic kind of hologram kind of a co cover on this one. Um, it's really cool. Tape inside looks the same as, uh, as the Zoo TV one. Um, and a third and final one on music stuff here, David Gray Live. David Gray was a big kind of solo act over here um, between like 98 and, and the early 2000s. Um, so that's David Gray Live here in Dublin, a VHS of that one. And um, we kind of jump into a couple of movies here. Um, I, I remember posting this on Instagram and a lot of people really liking it. This is a really, this really cool Scream 1 and 2. Um, box set so Scream 3 wasn't out at the time you can kind of see Ghostface in there and there's Scream 1 and 2 so we pull these out and um, so there's the first Scream there's the tape of that one and Scream 2 had the black cover really cool um big fan of the Scream movies you know horror kind of uh kick-started horror um in the kind of mid 90s but um yeah it's a really cool um you kind of see it better there at the angle uh really cool Scream 1 and 2 box that I got like for I remember buying that in Virgin Megastore. If anybody's from Dublin, you'll remember the big, massive Virgin Megastore uh, shop on the Keys. It's long gone now. Um, Evil Ed, I bought this one in like a secondhand store uh, years ago. Uh, Arrow, this is an Arrow, it's actually Arrow <laughs> done the video of this as well. This is an Arrow and Forefront video. Um, yeah, I, I bought this in a secondhand store years ago and Arrow Video did a, a kind of a Blu-ray release of this recently. 
These next two were in some kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger box set that I found. My sister worked in Golden Discs, which is again, if you're if you're from Ireland, Golden Discs is a kind of a, you know, a music record shop uh, over here. Um, so they would sell DVDs and stuff as well. And um, these, this is like Kindergarten Cup. And I also have Twins. And um, these are kind of like from some sort of Arnold Schwarzenegger VHS box set because they are brand new. I found them in the attic a while ago and they've they've virtually never been played. So I, I figured that's where they came from because I didn't buy them. Next one up, this is a, a great movie. Like there's 200 cigarettes, it's a fantastic cast. Uh, ben Affleck, Casey Affleck, J Dave Chappelle, who else is in there? Janine Garofalo, uh, Kay Hudson, Courtney Love is in there, Jay Moher, Marta Plimpton, Christina Ricci, Paul Rudd. Um, I bought this from, oh man, I can't even remember the name of the, the, the video shop. It was across the road from where I worked uh, years ago. And I only bought this because Kay Hudson's in it. I'm a big fan of Kay Hudson. And I was kind of buying up her movies at the time. And um, it's a movie about like, um, you know, the tagline, it's 11.59 on New Year's Eve. Do you know where your date is? It's a it's a movie about New Year's Eve. Um, I really enjoy that one. Um, really cool pile of wrestling stuff up here. Um, again, I would have bought this one years ago as a kid from the VHS shop across the road in the, in the last house. This is WrestleMania 4 and it's a double tape. Really, really cool because four hours approximately. Remember this like, just thinking this was the coolest as a kid because it was like WrestleMania 4 took two tapes. It was four hours. It was the title tournament and uh, that Macho Man Randy Savage wins and uh, fantastic stuff. So big fan of Macho Man uh, when I was younger. There's the tape. Let you guys have a look. I don't think this plays so great these days but again it's just really cool to have like double VHS of WrestleMania 4. Um, next one up again I, I you know I, I had an awful lot of wrestling tapes as well. You know I was big into the wrestling um, as a kid, so started off that collection with the with the VHS tape. So WrestleMania 12, Iron Man match, Brett and Sean, fantastic stuff, um, really cool. Uh, the cover is a little bit cut up, but uh, otherwise it's in pretty decent condition. You know, 96 was a cool year for wrestling, coming into 97, Attitude Era and all. So uh, Survivor Series 96, I was a big fan of Bret Hart as a kid. Um, so it's like anything that involved him, who was he, Stone Cold, uh, against Stone Cold, Steve Austin on this one, really cool that one um now i have some other kind of uh we'll kind of leave those sorry i'm just rooting through these we're down to the last four tapes so again i said 96 1996 year in review wwf at the time and um, it was just kind of like a compilation of matches i remember this being really cool um when i when i picked this up again like virgin megastar it would have virgin megastar was great over here for getting um some of these stuff um actually this was another virgin megastar as well tlc table at his chairs um it's only like 55 minutes like it was like one of those you know less than an hour long releases by wwf and um, just you know a couple of those matches and i remember picking up um virgin megastar over here was brilliant for wcw you could never get wcw stuff over here and um, by the time i got the i guess in the states like the cable tv or the you know over in here in the uk and ireland sky by the time i got the sky cable channels that carried uh, bravo was the channel that wcw nitro was on over here there was like basically two nitros left and then wwf bought wcw at the time so and um, it was really cool to get a hold of older wcw stuff so this is wcw sold out 2000 pay-per-view um, I really got really, really into like older WCW stuff. Um, I know 2000, I mean, but you know, I never would have seen these at the time. So, and what's really cool with these tapes is it's, it was all kind of released through, you may be able to see there on the labels, Warner Brothers, um, like home entertainment. It's really, really cool stuff. Um, this WCW stuff in the side spine there, you'll see it's that newer, uh, the new WCW logo. And then the last one, I actually, this was an eBay pickup. Sorry, it's just a bit dusty. I'm trying to clear it off here with the sun coming in. I mean, it's really warm weather over here at the moment. Um, Real Wrestling, the best of Kerry Von Erich, USWA, Texas superstar. Um, fantastic stuff. Uh, just a bunch of his matches, 75 minutes long. Really cool. Gems is, is the name of the, uh, the company on the tape there. Um, I've... You know, I wasn't overly aware of Kerry Von Erich or the Von Erichs until kind of later on um, as I grew up and kind of learned about the tragedy of that wrestling family. 
and um, kind of got into them then. But that's kind of, that's the last one in the VHS collection. Um, as I mentioned, I know a couple of you guys, the subscribers had asked me to go through that before. And it's just, I think I have about 20, 21 tapes there. It's not an awful lot. So um, it might not be as cool as like a massive uh, VHS collection, but uh, nevertheless, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know you asked for it. So if there is anything you would like to see on the channel like that, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to do uh, any video requests that you guys have and that I can do here from the movie collection. So uh, yeah, so the sun is kind of blinding me here. I'm trying to see into the camera as I'm shooting this. Um, so we'll wrap it up here. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel grow. I am on the road to 1500 subscribers. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I want to hit that by the end of this year. And we are just past 1400 recently. So it's really awesome. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me here on the channel. And um, yeah, hit the bell if you haven't already to get notified as soon as I post those videos uh, so you can keep up with them. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to know. Any other videos you want done, let me know. I'll get those done for you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll talk to you on the next video.